Today on MTG Unpacked, we're taking a look at the 2017 Magic the Gathering gift pack. Uh, this just came out today, so I thought it'd be interesting to crack this open and see what we get. Uh, this comes with two premium cards, the Carries Over Skyship Raider foil and a Metalwork Colossus. Uh, looks like we've got a die. Armand Cat, Hour of Devastation, and an Ixalan booster pack, and also some lands. Oh, and a poster. Alright, so we'll crack this open and see if this is all worthwhile. This, uh, I think it retails for about 20 bucks, depending on where you are, um, which doesn't seem too bad, but let's have a look here. Okay, so this must be the poster. Got our Nicole Bolas fighting all the planeswalkers. Alright. And here, this is an interesting arrangement. It's probably the easiest way to put them out. Yeah, not real fond of this packaging here. This should just pop out of there. Another one. All right. Let's see how damaged the cards are. All right. So, foil, metalwork colossus. Metalwork colossus cost X less to cast, where X is the total converted mana cost of non-creature artifacts you control. If you sacrifice two artifacts, return metalwork colossus from your graveyard to your hand. So, seems okay. Uh, this is a 10-10, costs 11 mana. So, fairly expensive to play, but I'm sure if you've got a long-running game, that might help. And then, the other card here is a Foil Carries of Skyship Raider. Legendary creature, human pirate, with first strike and menace. Whenever Carries of Skyship Raider attacks, create a legendary 2-1 red monkey creature token named Ragavan that's tapped and attacking. That's interesting. Exile that token at the end of combat. Aboard her ship, the dragon smile carry follows no one's rules but her own. So she costs 2 mana, 1-3 uh, power toughness. Okay, and then let's take a look at these land cards. These are foils as well. These are all, and see, so there's one. One's all bent out of shape. I don't know if I, I probably did that when I was opening it. So, not fond of the packaging. That's the first strike here. So, these are all Mark Pool lands. We've got a foil swamp. A foil island mountain. I like the foiling on this one. It's cool. And a forest. Very cool. And the plains. Nearly forgot that one. Sun shining down there. Alright, so that is the foils and then we're down to the booster packs. Got a ton of packaging just flying everywhere around here. Okay. Um, so this is what you get. These normally retail for about four bucks each. So the value is okay, I guess. Um, nothing too exciting. You're probably getting what you pay for, but I'm not really impressed with that packaging. That seems a little dodgy. 
Okay, I'll run through these. I'll also, if you haven't seen my videos before, I'm popping up the price for the uh, any commons of note, uh, any uh, uncommons, any rares and mythics. So the rares and mythics are the ones that most likely have value, sometimes the foils. Okay, so this is Armand Ket. We have Supply Caravan, Essence Scatter, Tormenting Voice. Spidery Grasp, Electrify, Those Who Serve, Slither Blade, Gift of Paradise, Tar Crop Elite, The Uncommon Hapatra's Mark, Lord of the Accursed, Cast Out, that's pretty decent, that sees a lot of play, and Oracle's Vault is the rare. And do we get a foil? Yes, we get a foil bone picker. Uh, just keep in mind if you're getting one of these that these packs are totally random. So obviously the lands and the um, premium cards, those will be the same, but everything else is luck of the draw. So hopefully you have good luck if you crack one of these. Next up we have Puncturing Blow, Proven Combatant, Aven of Enduring Hope, Sidewinder Naga, Lethal Sting, Ambuscade, Feral Prowler, Desert of the True, Gilded Ceridon, Godfaro's Faithful, The Uncommon is a Fervent Pancaster. Gideon's Defeat, Vizier of the True, and Unesh Crow Sphinx Sovereign. Nice, that's a mythic. Not one of the um, best mythics, but it's still pretty decent. And a land and a Sun Scourge Champion token. Alright, last pack. On to Ixalan. This is the most recent set at the time of this video. Uh, this will be the most recent pretty much until uh, the remainder of 2017, going into early 2018. So next up we have Queen's Agent. Brazen Buccaneers. Legion's Judgment. Skull Duggery, Ixali's Diviner, Opt, that's a good one. Look for your Opts, those are heavily played in control decks. Crushing Canopy, Unfriendly Fire, Dive Down, Grazing Whiptail. The uncommon we have here is a Wily Goblin. Interesting Goblin Pirate. Dead Eye Quartermaster. Drover of the Mighty. And ho ho ho! Carnage Tyrant. That's a pretty impressive pull for a random pack. This is probably uh, the most expensive card in the set right now. Uh, Carnage Tyrant can't be countered. He has Trample and Hexproof. He's a 7-6 for 6 mana. Um, the only thing I would want more than one of these dinos is a foil version. I haven't pulled one of those yet. Alright, that's very cool. And a Plains and a Vampire token. Alright, so that was the 2017 gift pack. Is it worthwhile? Uh, that's a bit of a tough one. Um, you may be better off if you're new to Magic. If you pick up a Planeswalker deck, those are pretty cool. Those will get you a, a nice starter deck. Or even if you go to your local game store, uh, they often have free packs to hand out. So that's another good way to get started. Uh, if you're just... Um, if you've been playing a while, you're probably not going to get a lot of value out of this because you'll be after specific cards, you'll buy the singles. But for just a fun um, 
reasonably priced thing, I guess it's okay. The one downside, I'm not really impressed at all with the packaging. I had to work to get these cards out and I think we got some damage here on the planes. Um, these, these aren't worth that much. I think they may be only a, a buck or two a piece, but still it's pretty galling when you uh, bend a card. Shouldn't happen. But there you have it. So let me know in the comments what you think of this gift pack. Uh, if you're planning to pick one up or giving it a miss. Um, if you have any other recommendations you'd like people to know about, uh, just leave a comment down below. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button if you'd like to see more Magic the Gathering unboxings and have a great day.